and they'll be out in droves, you know, and it could be just what we need right now in the country. Patrick Murray migrated from Ireland in 1957, and he believes Catholics back home will welcome Pope Francis. He's hoping the Holy Father will rekindle the fire of faith in his homeland and help build up mass attendance. A lot of them are not going on a regular basis. They'll go for the, uh, the big holidays, but uh, a lot of them have, you know, veered away from the, from the church. Father Brian Dowd ministers to the Irish community in the Brooklyn Diocese and sees the meeting between the Pope and Prime Minister as a positive sign. They seem to get along so well um, and there was real a sense of excitement on the part of the Prime Minister uh, that uh, Pope Francis will be visiting the country. An excitement the island hasn't felt since St. Pope John Paul II's visit in 1979. Father Dowd, what impact do you think the Holy Father could have on, on the country when he visits in 2018? Just his message of love and peace that he brings to so many people will definitely help uh, in creating a better sense of collaboration between the church and the government in Ireland. Father Chris Henu is at Holy Child Jesus in Richmond Hill. His parents were born in Ireland and he often visits family back home. He hopes the Holy Father's message to the country will stress the importance of married life. To reaffirm that there is a, a, a truth to marriage, there is a truth to family that family is the building block of our society. Although the Pope's journey is still in the early stages, these Irish Catholics are already anticipating the Holy Father's arrival to their homeland. Reporting for Currents, I'm Tim Harfman.